and welcome to our discussion on East Asian drama. In East Asian drama, short lyrical poetry was prized for delivering public opinion, moral education, and personal expression. Epic poetry and drama did not play an influential role in the development of East Asian literature. Unlike Western drama, where each work has been authored by a musical composer, Chinese opera relies on a fixed repertoire of tunes, not individual scores. East Asian drama also relies on role types, such as the beautiful woman, the scoundrel, the fool, and the demon. Korean piansori consists of only five anonymous pieces, based on a long process of oral transmission and reenactment. Arduous training is required of actors in East Asian theater, due to the required skills involving dance, singing, playing music, and chanting. Performance of No is a skill passed along family generations. Actors and musicians learn from their parents or masters and undergo strenuous training from early childhood. No emerged in the 14th century, but its basic elements stemmed from Buddhist chanting, the music and dances of the Japanese imperial court, and from variety entertainment, including acrobatics and mime. The dramas contain a lead actor, supporting actor, chorus, stage attendants, and occasional child actors. No playwrights often extract moments from famous literary works, exploring strong emotions. No is performed on an austere, undecorated stage. Actors sometimes wear masks and move at a slow and choreographed pace. Stylization, for example, in the gesture of weeping. And their performance is accompanied by a flutist and percussionist. Because most masks have enigmatic expressions, their features are open to various interpretations. This progression you see of masks on your screen shows how emotions were depicted. Now let's look at the specific East Asian drama pieces that are depicted in your textbook. The first one is Atsumori. The No Warrior play focuses on the death of a young Haiki warrior, Atsumori, revisiting the final encounter between Atsumori, who is now a ghost, and Naozane, a Genji supporter turned monk. Readers should make note of the minimalist background and focus on the themes of death, salvation, and intense emotions. Puppet theater and kabuki, which is stylized theater, arose during the Edo period and productions were staged for commoners, so therefore often address common concerns and contemporary events. These types of theater stand in sharp contrast to the earlier no theater, which focused on classical literature and themes and was generally sponsored by the wealthy as official state theater. Puppeteers appeared in full view on stage, dressed in black, and puppets were technically designed with movable facial features and the ability to wield objects. The puppet theater is comprised of puppets, puppeteers, shamisen music, and jururi chanting. Chanting is the primary feature as the chanter performs the entire play, requiring great range of voice and character acting. Pian Sori evolved from a shaman song and folk tales, and its performance bears strong resemblance to the performance of epic poems in ancient Greece. Generally, the drama is characterized as a percussion music form. A single male performer, called a sorikun, recounts tales, alternating singing with speaking in verse and accompanied by a drummer, called a gosu, who gives not only rhythmic drum beats but also verbal sounds, choyun sang, both meaningless and for, as phrases of encouragement. The audience also plays an integral role by contributing verbal sounds, choyun sang, during the performance. The sorikun usually holds a fan or a handkerchief and acts through the combination of song, recitation, and gesture. Spoken drama, concert music, and ballet became separate genres in the West. Asian drama deeply influenced some Western writers of the modern period, including Yeats and Pound, who were interested in the silence or gesture aspects of Asian drama as representative of the modernist aesthetic. Brecht's play, The Good Woman of Szechuan, was set in China and inspired from Brecht's attendance at the stylized performances of the Chinese actor Mei Longfang in Moscow. So let's do a quick test of your knowledge. Chinese, Japanese, and Korean drama share all of the following similarities except A, they depend on stock characters, B, the works are usually anonymous, C, the actors begin performing as young children, or D, they combine singing, chant, dance, and music. Pause the video and make your selection. The correct answer is C. Performers in traditional East Asian drama undergo a rigorous apprenticeship, often lasting many years before they take the stage. This arduous and lengthy training now offers little appeal to modern performers, which means that the traditional East Asian drama is continually at risk of becoming a lost art. Number two, which of the following were early supporters of Japanese no drama? A, samurai, 
B. Royalty, C. Commoners, or D. Shoguns. Pause the video to make your selection. D. Shoguns. Japanese no drama, like Atsumori, received important patronage from Japanese shoguns. Number three, East Asian literary traditions began with a focus on A. Courtly romances, B. Drama, C. Lyric poetry, or D. Epic. Pause the video and make your selection. The answer is C. East Asian literature developed an early interest in short lyrical poetry. This contrasts with early Greek literature that focused on the epic poetry, like Homer's Odyssey and Iliad, and drama such as Sophocles' Oedipus the King. Number four. Which of the following is a famous modern Western author who was deeply influenced by East Asian drama? A. William Blake, B. Virginia Woolf, C. John Keats, or D. Bertolt Brecht? Please pause the video and make your selection. The answer is D. Many Western authors, including William Butler Yeats and Ezra Pound, were deeply influenced by East Asian drama. However, Brecht actually wrote a story about it that was inspired by a play he saw in Moscow. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.